Hello class, I'm excited to work with you all this semester. Welcome to English 095, Integrated Reading, Writing, and Critical Thinking. First off, let's talk about why you should be taking this reading and writing course, why it's important to you. Well, you know, just simply reading and writing have the power to change your life for the better, right? We all know that information is all around us. You'll use it in your college life and you use it in your life outside of the classroom. And so knowing how to communicate better, both in writing and being able to understand and think critically about what you read are have never been more important skills than they are right now. So these are the things that we're going to talk about in this class. We're going to help make you better readers. We're going to help you make you better writers and better thinkers. So I am Professor Jennifer Garner. I'll be leading you through this journey this semester. We're also going to have another professor, Professor Loeffler, come in and help us from time to time. Um, and you'll be available and she'll be available to meet with you as well as myself. Um, I am from Ohio originally. My family is all in the Cleveland area. So, you know, go Browns, go Cavs, go Indians and go Buckeyes. Um, I graduated from a small college in Ohio called the College of Worcester, where I got a bachelor's in English. And then later, when uh, my kids were very little, I got my master's degree. Um, we lived in Connecticut at the time, so I got it from Western Connecticut State University. And then we moved to Maryland, and that was actually my first um, teaching experience full time. And I've been here at Howard Community College for about 14 years. Before I went back and got my master's degrees, I spent years working as a journalist and editor for newspapers. And I also worked in public relations. And so I have a lot of communications experience from my past. Okay, about this class. So this class is a fully online class. That means that there are no required meeting times that you'll um, have to, we'll all be together. So it also means that you'll work through most of the coursework independently, right? You'll have to do reading to help you understand the assignments. I'll provide videos. I'll do everything I can to help you um, succeed in this class, right? I'll give you feedback on all your assignments. But your part of that equation is that when you don't understand something, you need to reach out to me. I'm available for Zoom times. I am available via email but you have to reach out and ask the questions, right? I can't help you if I don't know how you need help. So that's why your active participation is required to um, be successful in this class. If for some reason you didn't know that you were signing up for a fully online class, I believe that there's still space available in our face-to-face -face sections. And so you should contact advising or look on the student planner and see if you can switch into one of those face-to-face sections, but do that as soon as possible. Um, I am also teaching a face-to-face -face section. I'm not sure how many seats are in, left in that class, but my class is going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I'm going to kind of run this class alongside the face-to-face -face class. So that's a Tuesday-Thursday class, so our assignments for this class will be due also on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You'll just have until 11.59, in essence, midnight to get things in on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, our textbook, there's nothing to buy for this class because our textbook is um, available online. You'll find it when I, I'll show you our, um, our class site in just a second, but we'll go take a quick look at the textbook that I already brought up. All right, it's called Open Text, Engaging Text, An Introduction to College Reading and Writing. And I already launched that someplace. Which one? There it is. Okay. Um, so this is what it looks like. These are the different chapters. When I assign reading in this book, I will um, try to link you right to the chapter that we're reading. I'll provide the link to you. And so um, you may not have to go back to that homepage, but you know that's what it looks like. If for some reason you, you know, it doesn't take you where you need to go, you can always click on this or just explore it. There are some topics that we might not be talking about so much, especially a lot of the grammar topics. If you need to brush up on your grammar, Go ahead and take a look at these grammar topics all on your own. And sometimes during the semester, I might recommend those sources to you. Okay, back to our PowerPoint. So I remember what I'm going to say. Um, the other thing is this is a fully online class. So I'm expecting that you have good access to technology. You should have a desktop computer or a laptop computer with a 
keyboard and reliable internet. You should not be working on your cell phone. I can promise you that you will be less effective and less successful in this class if you try to get all your work done on a cell phone or on a tablet without your keyboard. Um, you can use a any kind of computer, a Chromebook, a PC, a Mac, Apple. I've had more students using um, tablets with keyboards, and I think that can be a really effective way um, to do the class. But you need to have some kind of computer. If you don't, work with our Technology Service Center. Um, go to our website and Google Technology Service Center, and they have loaner, loaner computers that they can let you borrow. Or if something happens to your computer throughout the semester, or gets broken, you can always um, get a loaner computer through our Technology Service Center on campus. There it is. If you need help, contact helpdesk at howardcc.edu. All right, they have laptops, and they do have a limited number of hotspots if you're having trouble with internet access. They can provide hotspots. Um, also, make sure you know all your login and password, right? So sometimes our devices may know the password, um, but there might be times when you actually, you yourself, need to know that password in order to log into library or other resources we may use. So make sure that you have your passwords recorded someplace or that you know what they are. Um, for this class, for a fully online class, you can expect to spend a minimum of 10 to 12 hours a week working on this course. So make sure that you're giving yourself time to complete the work. I'm going to try my best to have work up a week in advance. Obviously, I can't do that this first week, um, but I will try my best to have work up at least a week in advance for you. So if you want, you know, if you do all your work on weekends, you'll be able to get the work for the week done on the weekends. Um, but make sure that you're scheduling time so that you can get all the work done. This week, this first week, what can you expect us to do? First, we're going to do some things to help get to know one another. We're going to um, do a little introductory discussion board, and then we're going to provide a writing sample. We do these things because I want us to be a community, even though we're not all going to see each other all at the same time. We'll be reading each other's writing. We'll be talking in discussion board posts. So I hope that we can be a learning community. If we get to know each other, it shows respect for our peers and for me, if we can learn each other's names, maybe we'll learn a little bit about each other. And so then we'll feel maybe less awkward when people are reading our work. We'll have at least some idea of who the person might be. Um, so we're doing those get to know you things. We're also going to talk about the course. I've already introduced you a little bit to the textbook. We'll um, have some things for you to work through on our Canvas site, talk about using Google Docs. And then we're going to start getting into the meat of the class, talking about reading and note taking, things that you'll need to be successful this semester. And I think this is the last one of our PowerPoint. Um, so I think that's it. I'm going to stop here so it's not too long a video, but I look forward to working with you all. You'll see on our homepage, you can click start here or modules. Those are both places that you can begin to start the course. So I look forward to getting to know you this semester and working with you. Bye bye.